and Zay Flowers. Even with Nathaniel me, Hackett with me throwing to him, <laughs> with me wow. under center. I like that. I like that one. I don't care what tall. I don't care how tall he is or how tall he isn't. That young man can play football. Like him. Actually, I love him. See, I like Quentin. I like Quentin uh, Johnson. Johnson. And I said, make me love him. Zay Flowers. I like him. I love him. Oh, that boy can play. I'm telling you, man, just just the way he gets in and out his routes. Show me, let me, let me get some playback so we can just break let's break this down. I love the way he plays. Look at the speed. Gives the indicator step, attacks the safety, and the safety makes the safety question himself. And then this throw right here. Great play against Wake Forest, wide open, always looking. What I love about this catch is it's almost like flag football. Here's what I mean by flag football. Is what I'm saying flag football is he's catching the ball, but he's already thinking about his next move. Well, I played flag football when I was younger. And what I love, flag football for young, a hybrid skill positions, when you play flag football in your skill position, it makes your processing system faster, Right. If you're an offensive lineman playing flag football, let's be honest, you're not, you, you, you know, like the center's leaking out. But flag football is you catching it and you have to make a decision immediately because it's a shorter field, condensed, and they just can grab your flag. So you got to make a move because the faster you move, the higher the flags play. So you got a low center of gravity. So I love this play. Go ahead and run it. Right? Look at that. Goals. Got some blockers ahead. It's a foot race to the pylon. Don't you, you're not gonna catch this young man. We love this play right here. Sets him up. Look at that. He then he's gonna act like he could throw it. Can't go. What is he always doing though? He's looking always ahead. looking ahead. Right. And I was one of those guys too. When you see that, when you got a fast guy, he's holding that thing like a loaf of bread. I'm telling you, he's trying to get busy with it. I'm just telling you. It makes me so nervous as a fan. I'm like, tuck it. Just tuck it. Back, just shut up. Rewind. <laughs> right? What I love about this play is he sets him up. Late hands. Pretty good. Right in the bread basket. He's a small guy, but he fights. I like this play right here. Double move. Post. He got a corner post against Louisville. Again, against that safety. That safety ain't got a chance. Or the nickel. Either one. <laughs> I just like it. If you look at his highlights, explosive. Look at him. Finishes. He's not afraid of contact. Always Some thinking. good blocks. Some good blocks downfield. I like yes. that. Great blocks. And he's reading the blocks. Look at that. Catching mm -hmm. on the field. He could turn a shallow catch into a home run. He's a home run hitter. I'm telling you. Defenders like this. What did I say what I love about him? Balance and body control. The body control, he's dropping his weight because he understands exactly where he is. He also knows that he has the corner in a quandary. Now, you could say, well, Steve, that's great for you to say that or blah, blah, blah. What's the difference between him, him and Quentin Jones, Quentin Johnson? The difference is I've seen him show up. And he just, his, his plays pop up off the screen. And here's what I mean. This same play I kind of had when I was a Baltimore Raven against in the third Monday night, I think it was Monday night football, against the New Orleans Saints. When I was back in the end zone and I knew where I was. Yes, I used my, my body to catch the ball. But that was the only way because I knew the impact of me hitting the ground right. with my body was going to make the ball move. And when you hit the ground and in the end zone, what did they say you have to have? Yeah, what did control. I say he has? Balance and control. body control. And the only way you know about body control is if you master in your craft. Yes, he lets the ball hit his chest because he's in a position. If he jumps up, the defender can push him out of bounds. But right. he knows where the ball is. The defender doesn't. So he doesn't panic. He tries not to. And this is how I know 
he did not let his eyes tell on him because defenders who looking at the uh, defenders who looking at the receiver, they say, you hear him, I watch their eyes. Well, he didn't recognize his eyes widening out. So the defender did the, the old, let me, let me throw my body up and try to shield him because I don't know when the ball's coming, but my internal football clock is telling me, ball's coming, we're in the end zone. Mm-hmm. There's a probability, ding, 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 ding. You know, TMZ always shows you that little pointer. When you see the <laughs> little point for TMZ, it's never good. So let's put no. the TMZ pointer on this defender. Ding, 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 ding. You in trouble, buddy. It's not going to be good for you. Now run it. Great body control. Look at that. He t- stops, drops his weight, drops his weight, and then catches the ball and allows his body to be there. Great catch. I love it. Great body control. I, listen. If he runs a fast 40 like I think he will, I think he leaps for all Quentin Johnson. If he catches the ball, great. If he has a good day, I can see this would be a I, I can see him moving up and being a being a good pick. So you don't think the playing in the ACC should be held against him as opposed to someone playing in the SEC? I mean, scouts do that. I, I'm not into that. I'll just For sure. I, that's look, that's why I'm asking. I can't speak on how the scouts do that, I just let his game speak for me. Okay. And he's a he's a day one, tier one. I just need to see, I just need to see his 40, his 40 time, his vertical jump, and his shuttle drill. So the the two comps going around on him right now, people love player to player comps. It makes it yep. easier for people to see what they can be. And they're almost always wrong. But the two going around I've seen the most for him, Percy Harvin and Antonio Brown. Okay. Um, I like the Percy Harvin because here's why. The Percy Harvin is when he was – when Percy Harvin was in Florida, Urban Meyer did a great job of understanding his quarterback situation. And his quarterback situation was this. When he had Chris Leak, a lot of people don't – Chris Leak never really got a much credit compared to um, baby, uh, baby Jesus. As, uh, <laughs> oh, oh. The savior himself, yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember his name now. Tim Tebow. Tim Te- <laughs> I it's, in my mind, it's, it's, it's uh, baby Jesus, right? That's how yeah. I categorize, man. But what I what I what I respect about Urban Meyer was what he understood is Tim Tebow didn't have a strong arm. So what did he do? He got a whole bunch of athletic guys, condensed the field, mm-hmm. and said, "Let's get it out quick, get into my playmakers' hands, and let them do work." That's what Percy Harvest did in Seattle. Mm-hmm. That's what he did in his career, and it made it made him right. Antonio Brown is a little bit different because Antonio Brown with Big Ben, they ran a different offense, kind of like what Diggs is running with Josh Allen in Buffalo, which is they run not makeup routes, but whatever the corner is. If the right, corner's right. lined up here, we run this. If the corner's lined up here, we run that. If the corner's here, we run that. So that's a little bit different, right? I don't know what comps it is right now, but here's what I could put them on. Here's the comp that I want to say. If he continues to show this explosiveness, I put him on a count with Jalen Waddle. Interesting. Because he could turn a sh- he could he makes the quarterback right. He could turn a short pass into a home run. And I think, like Jalen Waddle, I think he got some pretty good darn routes. I like his route game. Right. I think that was the thing with the A-B comparison. I think when most people, fans at least, when they think of A-B, they think of his footwork. One thing about A-B that I think sometimes A-B became this player that he is, and, and I don't think A-B is a bad player. I think he was – I think A-B was outstanding. Yeah. Right? But it really? took some time to evolve. I think Zay, Flow- uh, Zay Flowers has the ability to impact the game today, not tomorrow. A-B is a uh, champion – A.B. is an NFL champ. A.B. for his time in NFL is what it is. You can't take it away from him. No. But it took some – people didn't – people did not see what A.B. had became 
first couple of years because we had they had Plaxico Burris and then uh, Heinz Ward. They had, Mar- they had Martavis they for had, a minute. Oh, he was yes. Getting- it's so much stuff, but I think Zay, Zay Flowers has that ability to stand out just like uh, Jalen Waddle. Right? That's, that's the guy I got. 